What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a Pilates workout. If we've not met before, my name is Margaret. I'm 25. I live in Arizona. I'm a Pilates instructor and today we are doing a Pilates workout, very obviously. We're going to be focusing on um, our core as always, we're gonna be doing a little bit of articulation and um, getting some rotation and getting into the backside of our body as well. I'm gonna be using a um, small stability ball for some of this stuff. So if you have a small ball, awesome. If you don't, um, a good alternative is actually gonna be a foam roller for some of the stuff that we're doing. That'll work out pretty well for you. So if you have that, go ahead and grab that and I'll cue you as well with the foam roller so that you are good to go. We're gonna go ahead and get right into things. I want you to start off all the way down on your mat. So we'll lay everything down. You don't need that ball for now, so just let it, you know, kind of roll off to the side, go wherever it wants to go. We're gonna warm up here. So I want you to bring your hands down by your sides, press your palms down into the mat, press the triceps down, press the backs of the shoulders down. Let your hips fall heavy on the mat and just kind of wiggle around a little bit so you can feel your sacrum, feel your tailbone on the mat. Get those feet so they're about hips distance apart and we'll just start to breathe. You can take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Fill the belly up with air and then we'll take a big exhale, let it go. Good, we'll do three more like that. Good, nice deep inhale. And one more. Good. On your next inhale, we're just gonna lift the arms up overhead. Well, not overhead, uh, just right above the shoulders. And then exhale, we'll pull the arms right back down. I just want you to feel what's going on in the back side of your body. So take note of the shoulders. If you start to lift your arms and you can feel your shoulders are kind of creeping up in towards your ears, or if they're popping out of their sockets, you've gone a little bit too far. So it doesn't have to be a huge movement. Always remember, more is not better. Bigger is not better. More is just more. Right? Two more like this. Good. Last one. Then we'll drop those hands down by our sides. We're gonna do a little bit of spinal articulation. So I want you to find a neutral pelvis. So kind of rock around a little bit on the hips. Find where neutral is for you. And then we'll take an exhale. You'll tuck the hips up and under, roll the hips up into a bridge. So you come up to the top. We'll inhale at the top. And then another big exhale to roll the hips all the way down. Good, next time that you press up, we want you to take the arms with you. So we warm up the low body a little bit, warm up in those shoulders. Good, roll everything down. Two more like that. Inhale, lift it up. Good, we'll bring it down. Last one. Good, everything comes down. Just drop the knees from side to side. Take a deep breath. Take a little stretch. And I want you to grab onto your stability ball. This one, I wouldn't use a foam roller. Just use your hands without the ball if you don't have a ball. Um, knees are gonna come right up above your hip, shins parallel to the ceiling. I want you to take the ball in your right hand and then press the ball right into the top of your right thigh. We're gonna do a little bit of a dead bug variation. So left arm comes up above the shoulder, left leg stays right where it's at on your inhale. We're gonna open left arm, left leg, putting pressure into the ball on the right side. So just moving in the left, holding the right side still. Static hold, gentle pressure into that ball. It's gonna help us to activate through our low abs, our transverse abdominals. Good, two more like this. Last one. Good, everything comes in. I just want you to switch over to the other side. Really subtle core work. Press that ball into the top of the left leg. We'll inhale to open right arm, right leg. Exhale, squeeze it in. Really use that exhale to help you get into your abs. Think about lacing your corset together, drawing that rib cage together a little bit closer to your midline. Good, two more like this. Two. Last one. Good, everything comes in, grab onto that ball, cross your ankles, we're gonna rock and roll 
on up. So we come into a seated position. Feet are gonna come out right in front of you. Um, feet plant down on the mat, little bend in the knees. Find a spot that you feel comfortable with your hip flexors. So if your hip flexors are really tight, walk the feet out a little bit further in front of you. I know my hip flexors are unhappy today. Ball's gonna come between your palms, push the hands forward and we'll start to take a half roll back. Inhale to sit up nice and tall. We'll exhale, draw the belly button to the spine, start to roll back onto the hips, keeping the feet down. So if you start to feel your feet lifting, you've gone too far. Good, roll it down, find that point that you feel a little bit of a shake. We'll push onto the ball, push, and then exhale, bring it up. Good, so inhale, we sit up nice and tall, release that pressure from the ball, exhale, we roll it down. Good, push into that ball and bring it back up. We'll do two more like that. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, exhale, we roll it down. Good, squeeze into that ball, roll everything up. Whew, last one here, when you take it down, I want you to hold it there. Find that lowest point for you. We're gonna come up one inch, hold it there, take a little tiny pulses, one inch up, one inch down. Good, one inch up, one inch down for four more. Four, for three, good, for two. And the last one, hold it there. Now we're gonna rotate that ball. Rotate over towards the right. Good, three center. To the left, three more each side. Keep holding. Think about pulling your hips towards your rib cage. Big scoop in your abs, big scoop in that low belly. Good, two more. Ooh, that was mean to me, last one. Good, good. Everything's gonna come up through center. Now you're nice and warm through your core, through your powerhouse. I want you to swing those legs around. We're gonna come into a mermaid position. So right leg's gonna come in front of you, left leg right to your side. You wanna look at the legs and see a Z. So Z translation through the legs. Um, ball's gonna come right into your right hand and we're gonna start to find a nice little mermaid stretch. We've done this before, but not recently. On your inhale, I want you to push that ball out. So push it out a little bit reach the left arm up overhead. Good, exhale, we'll pull it back in. We'll keep moving like that. Let that ball help you a little bit. It's not gonna feel like it's helping you. It's gonna feel like it's really hard. It is, but you're strong, you can handle it. It's okay if the left hip lifts a little bit off the mat. That's cool with me, it's not a big deal. Good. Now you can do the same thing with the foam roller. Just let the foam roller come underneath your hand. Use it as a little bit of extra support. Next time that you reach up and over, I want you to add in some rotation. Taking that left arm, rotating down towards the mat, will open back up, come back up through seated. Good. We have to push into that ball a little bit, kind of hard, because it's not stable, right? Good. Two more like this. Two. And last one. Good. Want you to come up through center, drop the left hand down to your mat, keep your right hand on that ball. We'll shift our weight onto our right hip and we're gonna lift and lower the left leg. So it's gonna be a big squeeze at your glute. We'll lift, we'll lower, we'll lift. We'll lower for four more. Four, for three, good for two. Last one, we hold tiny pulses, flex your foot, push your heel back an inch, in an inch, back an inch, in an inch. If you wanna lift that left hand away, go ahead and do it. Four, for three, good, for two. And last one, hold the left leg up. We're gonna pulse up. Up one inch, down one inch. Good, up one inch, down one inch, up one inch, down one inch for four, four, Woo. three, we got it, two, and last one. Good, everything comes in. We're just gonna swing those legs around, take it right over to the other side. Left leg comes in front, right leg comes out to the side. Oh, my hips are killing me. I've done like a mermaid variation for the past like three days in a row. So my hips are just unhappy, but we're gonna do it. Ball comes into the left hand or the foam roller can come underneath your right hand. Start to push it out a little bit so you find that point that you're able to roll the ball and maintain it. We inhale, reach that right arm up overhead. Exhale, we squeeze it in. So in a mermaid position, 
everything is working, right? It's not just the obliques, but you'll feel if you go a little bit too far, you have to start to squeeze into the right glute so that you don't completely fall over, right? It's hard. It's hard stuff. Pilates is hard. Good. If you're like me and you have cranky shoulders, the hand can come behind the head. It's fine. It doesn't have to go all the way up overhead. Just do what works. Good, next time that we lower down, we add in that rotation, reach. Good, rotate that right arm down, open it back up. Ooh, that's where it gets dicey. Whew. Oh man, my hips are just like not into this. They're into it in a hard way, like it's hard, it feels good, it's a good burn, but I need to do some freaking yoga, you guys. Oh my God. Good, two more like this, two. <sighs> Last one. Good, now hold it here, swing that right arm down, right hand can come down for the sport, so for support, left hand stays on the ball, we're gonna lift and lower that right leg, squeeze the glute, lift, lower, good. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Ooh, take some deep breaths. Maybe you bring that right hand to your hip. Four more, four, three, two, last one. We hold, we flex the foot, we pulse back. And back, good, for four, three, two, and one. Hold that right leg up, we pulse up. for four, you got it, three, two, and last one, right leg comes down, come all the way up, we're going to swing the legs around just to take a forward fold, reach those legs out in front of you, oh my god, I hope you didn't hear my leg snap, ball's going to come to your legs, just push that ball forward fold, um, towards the toes, get a big release, take a deep breath. Okay, now we're gonna get into that backside body. So I want you to bring everything down. Oh my gosh, we'll lay down onto our mat, belly down. And I want you to take the ball. We're gonna use the ball um, as an assist for a swan. This is one you can also use a foam roller if you've got it. Ball's gonna come out in front of you, right at about your wrist. Okay, um, sorry that my weights are clinking around back there. Sorry, everybody. Um, forehead drops down towards the mat. We'll take a big inhale breath. Start to lift your chest up off the mat as you roll the ball towards you. Get big back extension. Exhale, we lower it back down. And we'll keep moving like that. With that first rep, you'll know if you have to adjust the ball and you'll do that same thing with the foam roller. Let the foam roller roll towards you and then push it back out. Now this doesn't have to be a super big lift because I want you to keep your hips and the tops of your feet down on the mat. That is sometimes the most challenging part for not only you guys, but also for me. It's challenging for everybody. Remember, Pilates is hard for everyone all the time. Good. Three more here. Three. This will be two. Good. And last one. Ooh, good. Okay, from here, um, upper body's gonna come down. I want you to take the ball. We're gonna put the ball right between the legs, right above the ankles. We'll drop the forehead down. You can rest your hands right on top of each other. Forehead can come down. We'll lift those legs out, and we're just gonna lift and lower the legs. So exhale, we lift, press down into the front of the hips, squeeze the glutes, squeeze onto the ball. Lift and lower. Good. It's going to be a tiny movement. And if you need to lift your forehead off of the hands, that's fine. Four more here. Four. Three. Good. Two. And last one. Good. Everything drops down. You can bend the knees in. Grab onto that ball. Good. We're going to pop everything back into a child's pose. You can ditch the ball. Put it off to the side. You don't need it. Reach the arms long in front of you. Take a big deep breath. After some big back extension, a child's pose always feels nice. Nice rounding of the spine. Whew. 
take some deep breaths here. We're gonna climb up into a tabletop position. Hands come down, knees come back, shoulders over their wrists, hips over the knees. We'll take a couple of cat cows. We're gonna inhale to dip the belly down, open up the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, we push down through the palms of the hands, curve the spine, like you just got punched in the stomach. Two more like that. Inhale, we dip it down. Exhale, we'll press it up. Good, one more. Good. From here, I want you to press the hips back towards the heels. Bring the hands in. We're gonna swing the legs around so that we take a figure four stretch. Doesn't have to be a graceful transition. Just get there. Um, hands come behind you, left foot down on the mat. We're gonna cross the right ankle over the top of the left knee. Maybe you walk the left foot in a little bit so you release a little deeper into the outside of the right hip. Now I feel myself sinking down into the shoulder, so try to press up and away from the hands, spreading the chest wide, opening up through the collarbone. We'll take a couple deep breaths here. Nice quick Pilates workout. I like the quick ones, I feel like they're good. I, I don't know about you guys, but in terms of like at home YouTube workouts, like I cannot keep my attention span going for longer than like 15 minutes, especially if it's hard. I wanna quit sooner. Okay, when you're ready, go ahead and switch out those legs. Right foot can come down, cross the left ankle over the top of the right knee. A little bit of pressure into the hip. But I know some of you guys like like 20 minutes, I feel like is your sweet spot. And sometimes, sometimes I make workouts that are shorter than that because y'all, I'm tired too. <laughs> so if you ever want a couple workouts together, you absolutely can. And I will always link um, my Pilates playlist at the end of the videos. Good, when you're ready, go ahead and uncross that left ankle. We're gonna push the legs out in front of us. Take a nice deep inhale, circle the arms around and up. Exhale, we'll hinge the hips, start to forward fold, reach down for the feet, maybe. You give your feet a little assist. Pull the toes back towards you, release at the calves. Good, we'll hold for just three, for two, and one. Release those feet, walk the hands in, sit up nice and tall, and that is where I'm going to leave you. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little Pilates workout. If you did, as always, let me know. Remember, you are awesome, and you can do anything that you put your mind to, and I'll see you guys in our next video. I just can't resist, oh. You got me thinking love.